Hello again, everyone. Uh, so sometimes when you have like um, upgraded your Ubuntu version, if you are using Linux on, on your operating system, if you have Linux distribution and you upgraded your Linux into the last um, supported LTS version, which is 20, 20.04 uh, version. So if you upgraded sometimes, and even if you have some old device uh, and you want to run Ubuntu or any Linux, um, other Linux uh, distribution on it, you will have or you will face this problem with the Wi-Fi connection is not getting or providing the real uh, speed of the internet connection. So if you check the speed, and let me open my terminal here, uh, when you check the speed and, of your connection, uh, you'll get something uh, too below the real uh, connection speed. Um, I have already fixed that. Uh, and if I scan my network speed right now, it will give me the, but I will show you, I will show you um, the speed of my, of my internet connection right now. Um, if you would test that, you'll get something like it's below the um, half of the real, real speed. So what I did, I will go you I'll go with you uh, with my steps because I have suffered a lot with this problem and I thought it, it will be a good idea to uh, to provide my solution uh, and it's all, only uh, restricted to my situation and maybe you have something similar to this so that's why I'm I'm making this video so now after I tested um, and I, after I fixed the issue actually, so I get the real speed. Before that, I get about um, 90 megabytes, me megabits, uh, sorry, about 90, about 80. Sometimes in the evening, it, it's it's really below 10 uh, megabits. And it's, it's, um, it was all, it always annoying me about this, uh, what's going on. And it's only on, on my Ubuntu machine on my phone, on tablet, on any other device, not using Ubuntu, um, it gives me the real uh, connection speed. So basically it's not a problem with the router in the first place. So what I did, uh, first I got myself a new, um, a new network device. So um, basically on Ubuntu, if you have some old device, You'll, you'll have some old, um, not supported, let's say, not fully, not fully supported uh, uh, network devices inside your, inside your uh, computer. So to check your device, let's say how we can, how we can check the, our network device, you can uh, run this small, it's not small actually, um, let's run this to scan our devices or um, our machine device. So let's uh, scan for uh, check the class of the network. Short, short version, and run another one for an M CLI device and run or display the, the status. Okay, that should display my running devices. So let's make I'll make this bigger. So this is the command. Uh, you need just basically to run this command to display the network devices and also each each device status. So um, of course yours will be different, definitely. But in my situation, I have a device uh mp2 this is the um, i think it's the physical name or maybe it's not the physical name it's uh, something different it's the logical name i think yes it's the logical name of the device and um this is the type of it and we have another one this one which is this is this is the ethernet uh the cable when you connect with, through cable 
And this is the old wireless, my old wireless uh, device, which is type of uh, this, this one. And this is the new one I have already purchased. Um, I purchased lately and what's good about this one it's it supports two uh, basic channel rates so the old one only supports 2.4 gigahertz and the new one also supports 5 gigahertz so what I had to do I had to um, just make sure first that the device is um, is running on the 5 gigahertz uh, what you have to do to do that, basically, first you need to check if your device is running on what what is the channel is um, uh, running on this device. So uh, you can grab your device or your connected device, the uh, Wi-Fi device, your device uh, on your on your uh, system on on your machine, and you need to check by running sudo. Uh, IW list for Wi-Fi and then the Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi device name, which is my my situation, this one. And then you run scanning to run to scan for all devices or just from this device. Okay. Basically, you need to, it will uh, display all the uh, networks in your in your range but basically you just need to check for your your connection and check your network basically uh, you need to check for ESS ID which is the name of the connection um, the network you are connected to uh, the name of it you need to check for that so in my case I'm connected to this network and I can see that I am running on channel 5.5. So uh, I'm okay. My situation here is okay. If you are running on 2.4, 2.5, something like that, uh, you need to change the um, the channel into the 5.5. If your device already supporting this channel, if your device is not supporting this uh, this channel, uh, I would prefer to switch into some other options like have a USB external um, network device or Wi-Fi device like in myself. Um, but if you, this this option is just for, let's say, double check. But the real issue and the real trick solution for me in my situation uh, is that I have to change the power save options. So in my situation, I had to run into sudo. Let, let me open the uh, configuration file. And this configuration file for the module of um, uh, uh, iWiFi, uh, this module is, is running the Wi-Fi on Ubuntu. And this module has an option to turn off and on the saving option for this Wi-Fi. Uh, basically, this is what causing the issue for me and for a lot of users on Ubuntu, um, because when saving the uh, power, when you enable or disable your your power saving options, you will get like some issues uh, and causing this uh, drop in the connection speed. So what I have to do right now, I just need to open that. Um, let's say that. Uh, options, options file. So it's etc. Network manager, and inside it there's a conf file conf dot d. Inside it defaults Wi-Fi save power or power save uh, on dot conf, and then hit enter. That will open the file on your terminal and you need basically to change this value in my case it was three uh, maybe in your case it will be something different um, but you can you can try um, changing in this value manipulate this value uh, and save 
After that, you need to change to to, uh, to save the file and reboot your system and check if the connection uh, is good. So in my case, this didn't work first on my old network uh, device. So after I purchased a new one and um, just make sure that it's running on the 5.5 gigahertz channel. And then when I um, switched th this option into two, it was three, I switched it into two and reboot. And then I have the real, uh, the real speed of my connection. In my case, it's about 2.2, um, 250 megabits uh, per second. Um, yes. So just wanted to share this solution with you. I hope that it will be he helpful for somebody and you will get your connection work again. So thanks for watching and I will see you in other videos. Thanks for watching.